Uh, Brad, congratulations on a possible fight of the night. Uh, <laughs> what's your initial thoughts after a performance like that? Um, a lot, to be honest. Like, a lot of stuff going through my head. Um, but, you know, that was, it was uh, really, really fun to fight Drew. Uh, he's a really good guy, you know, like friends before the fight, after the fight. I said during that, well, that's what I said, and then during that 15 minutes, you know, nothing even close to it. And um, that's what it pretty much played out like. So, yeah, I think it's good for the sport to have um, people like him in it. Uh, anything in there surprise you? I know a lot of was uh, was talked about comparing your strikings, but there are a lot of fun scrambles in there, a lot of him getting up and you getting on top of anything. Yeah, I, th I thought it was like a really uh, well-rounded MMA fight. Um, I think I was more broad with my striking. You know, I had like a little bit more versatility than him and a few different options. Um, what surprised me is how durable he was. You know, I hit him with a kitchen sink and uh, he stayed standing. You know, like I some of the punches I hit him with, I pretty confident I would have put some welterweights down with that and he just sort of stood there and smiled just till that last round I caught him and wobbled him a little bit but yeah very strong guy very durable uh, were you confident that you had won that uh that decision he seemed really upset when they run the score um the score. now we talked after he was upset he didn't think it was unanimous and I thought it was to be honest I thought it was like a little closer to I thought it was like a split my way um but he he just came up to me before and said he doesn't doubt that I won the fight uh, I think he just thought it was um maybe uh, a little closer which um, is fair enough. And in that moment, I mean, you know, it is, it's hard to tell, you know, because like, it, it's hard to remember that shit, man, 15 minutes of that. And then you had mentioned your teammate that's no longer here at the end uh, in your interview. Is that, was that weighing heavily on your mind, uh, walk, making the walk to the octagon and everything? A little bit. You know, um, he was an extremely talented fighter, and uh, he gave me quite a lot of hidings on the regular with his hands. And it's, you know, it's not, you know, everyone knows this world isn't fair. And he'll never get to make that walk to the UFC, even though he would have one day. So, you know, it's, it's upsetting that um, he won't get to do that. So I walked out to uh, his walkout song, which is actually one of his uh, songs from his father's village in Tonga. That's why that song would have seemed a little bit odd. But his mother and his brother gave me permission to walk out to that as tribute to him. So that's why I did. When you hit someone like Drew with those shots and he doesn't go anywhere, do you have to start changing strategy to think, okay, I need to conserve some energy because this might go the distance, or do you just keep trying to hit him and hopefully he falls down eventually? I keep hitting him, you know, like durability will um, only work for so long eventually, like you do wear down a little bit. Uh, I felt I was definitely the fitter fighter in, in, in that one. Um, sometimes it just takes the right, um, you know, the correctly placed shot to put someone down. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, it can get annoying when you hit somebody that hard and they just stand there and they seem okay. It, you we nailed him with some body kicks as well that I thought were really effective. Was that a strategy going in there? Because the guy's got a yeah. notorious cardio machine, yeah. so he's going to take the base away. Well, when I kicked him with one of them, I heard him. You know, like you guys can't hear it, but I can hear it. You know, I can hear the hook. And uh, you can sort of like see their body slow down a little bit. They might take a backward step. Their breathing rhythm changes. So I kicked him a few times in the gut. And part of that was because I wasn't having as much success to the head. And I was trying to set up some stuff to come up top later. And I did throw that head kick, but I slipped over. <laughs> uh, I saw your reaction after, as soon as the fight finished, and you seemed to be very happy in there. I think you used to read, I fucking love this. Is those the sort of fights that you really enjoy? You don't obviously don't want that many of them, all those wars, but are those the ones you are special? Um, I'm definitely going to say I enjoy that. Uh, it's not good for longevity in, in the sport, I guess, or all my health. But um, I was more like relieved that you know I won for my friend back home. Or, or who died. That was more that emotion getting out of me there. Just a little bit of you know, primal behavior, but it's all good. Is that something that's been weighing on the team heavy, the whole, this whole process? Or have you been able to sort of compartmentalize it? I bottled it up over the last couple of weeks, you know, kept it inside because I knew, um, you know, the, the, the best way to uh, pay honor to him or tribute uh, foul was by winning. So it was, it was easier for me to keep my emotions um, sort of, you know, contained and until afterwards. Everyone's different, I guess. Do you think going for, like, you'll now be able to have a period where you can properly let those feelings out? Yeah, I've got two weeks in quarantine to sit in a room and, and um, you know, think, think things over. And, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to be with a good group of people in that quarantine. So the other people, are, uh, you know, want to be and want to talk to about it. So congrats on that. Brad. Um, so I spoke to you on media day. Uh, I said that 
Drew Dober wasn't ranked. He definitely was ranked. He is ranked number uh, fifteen. Yeah, I saw the fifteen <laughs> against his name, and I walked out. I was like, ah, oh, cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you'll definitely be number thirteen on Tuesday. Um, what's next? Do you want someone in the top ten? Yeah, I um I want to fight Grigor. Um, you know, I trained really, really hard for that fight, and I, I he's collegiate and he's also a good guy, and I'd like to fight him. And his last fight was awesome. You know, I watched that fight and. You know, I was kind of like cheering for him because I actually, you know, I met him and stuff and squared off. So he was definitely the one I was going for. And he got an awesome win. And he showed a lot of heart. And I have a lot of heart. And I think that fight will be uh, pretty hectic. So, yeah, I'd like to fight Drew next. Yeah, yeah that, that, that. Oh, sorry, shit. Sure, I'd like to fight Gregor next. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that fight would be excellent. Um, and then it was your first fight in the United States. Um, yeah. How was that experience? It was cool, man. Uh, it was mean to be back in front of a crowd. That was awesome. You know, I don't think they're all quite cheering for me. Maybe at the end, after the fight, I got a few more fans, but it was cool to come and fight in America. It was nice to fight uh, at a normal time, like in the evening, kind of. I haven't had that experience yet. You know, I've been in Australia in the morning, New Zealand kind of in the morning, and Abu Dhabi in the goddamn wee hours in the morning. So it was nice to have a uh, normal fight. And finally, um, someone explain when you say mean on, on Twitter. Um, and, uh, oh, it's mean. <laughs> yeah, it means cool. like, you know, it's cool, it's good. Uh, like dope. I guess you guys would say dope or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Means it's dope. Yeah, something like that. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, two follow-ups. Uh, unrelated to the fight, after you said you were, uh, be, you had that partnership with Blizzard, I got, there were a couple questions come my way. A, what is your class that you play in Warcraft? Yeah. And B, what do you have against Diablo? Uh, I play, uh, I'm undead, and I don't have anything against Diablo. I just uh, never really got into it, man. I've always been on Warcraft. And, uh, you know, um, I'm sure I'll probably like it, you know, I'm sure it's not that, you know, uh, different from it. Probably the same, uh, you know, broad outline <laughs> of game, yeah. Nothing against it, but... Well, thank you very much. You guys next time.